I just want to finish the abbreviated version of this program uh, with that wonderful story coming out of Sydney where we're seeing uh, girls who've arrived in Australia from places like Afghanistan and in more recent days from Kyiv out of Ukraine uh, who are now going to school. I mean, they are now calling Australia home. Bromen, I always see these things and think we are a very generous nation. We find a place for people who need that help. There's always room for more, I guess. But we just still decide who comes to Australia, the terms under which they come. It's a good story, isn't it? It's a, it is a good story, and, and we've done we've done this sort of thing. We did it with um, uh, Bosnia, we've done it with the Afghans coming here, and now we're doing it with people from Ukraine. And I can very well remember when I was in high school, we had a girl who came from Ukraine escaping from uh, communism, uh, and her name was Eugenia. Yeah. And I can still remember her with her long blonde plait down her back uh, and, and becoming... <laughs> made well aware of what was happening in that part of the world because of her presence. Yeah, and I think, Lisa, that's the point. It's, it's humbling to see kids that have fled this awful conflict in Ukraine and yet being able to come and find peace and stability, certainty and a place to learn and hopefully grow, and it's good for Australia's rep. Yeah, and it was nice to see that the, one of the private schools has actually waived fees thirty odd thousand dollars a year provided the school books provided the uniform so it's not just Australia stepping up but it's the Australian community stepping yeah. up to, to welcome them with open arms and, and give them a fresh start yeah and I think that's the thing we've done generations of migrants no one leaves their country either through the best of circumstances as rich business migrants or the hardest of circumstances of refugees no one leaves one country to go to another to go backwards they bring an energy they bring an ambition an effort for Australia and it's very very good for us